Hey, this is Bert, and today's video centers around an extremely common plush Star Wars toy, like this one right here behind me, of Grogu, who at the time was just known as the Child. And uh, this toy was made by the toy company Mattel, and I'm about to tell you about a super rare variant of that toy you probably never knew about. Low skill customs. If you knew a Star Wars fan in 2020, or even just a child who knew nothing about Star Wars but happened to like cute things, you've probably seen this very doll. It has a fairly hard, semi-flexible, hollow plastic head and a plush body, and it came in a printed cardboard package that was decorated like, and roughly shaped like, the pram the child is in during Mandalorian Season 1. Now, the variant I'm about to describe was found at a local thrift store by my friend LP. And in some ways, this is really less of a variant per se and really more of a Mattel-sanctioned customization. But basically, my friend LP was just browsing the toy section, looking for anything vintage, and came across this doll still new in the package, just like the one that was sold at retailers. Now, even though it's not at all vintage, a little piece of tag board tucked in between the doll and the, its package caught the eye of my friend LP. On the tag board was a message from the CEO of Mattel. We have been discussing that very topic. No, no, not, not that CEO, the real CEO, Inan Kreez. Inan's message read, Welcome back to the office. We are excited to have you back and hope you are experiencing a smooth return to the office. Mattel is a creative company and collaborating in person is a key contributor to our success as an IP-driven, high-performing toy company. Your well-being is a top priority, and we will continue to uphold the training, accommodations, and campus protocols designed to keep you safe on site, which are detailed in this Play It Safe kit. Should you have any questions or concerns about your return to the office, please email blink, 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 at mattel.com or contact your HR business partner. So, if you haven't figured it out, this toy variant was a gift to all Mattel office workers when they returned to work in the fall of 2020 after working remotely because of the pandemic. And this card is really what makes this toy a variant, but not the only thing. I'll get to the other Mattel sanctioned customization in a moment. But first, the card also had a very cute message on the back. The back had an image of the child, now known as Grogu, and said, thoughts from the child. Back in the office you are. Important to Mattel you must be. Now, I don't know if Mattel has any say in Star Wars canon, but they've established on this card that Grogu thinks in the same backward way that Yoda talks. So maybe in the upcoming movie, The Mandalorian and Grogu, Grogu will start putting some words together and we'll know if this is really how he actually talks. Anyways, this card was enough to convince my pal LP to buy the doll, and as soon as he got out to his car, he called his friend who works at the Mattel company Fisher-Price, because my friend LP has lots of connections, so he could find out more info about the doll and who exactly received them. The first thing his friend told him was that the doll had a standard respirator mask on it. So before he got any more details, LP went back into the store and asked the store employees if they knew about the mask because he wanted the exact mask that it had come with. Unfortunately, the employees had seen it, but somebody threw it out. And they even looked through the day's garbage to find it for LP, but it wasn't there. But fortunately, LP's friend, having worked at the office, had received a Grogu doll of his own and actually ended up with two masks with his doll. So now my friend LP has the doll complete, as you can see right here, and he got the rest of the story about the doll, too. Apparently, Fisher-Price building cleaners had been called into the office building sometime earlier than everyone else to get the office prepared to operate at full capacity once again. In addition to the dusting and general maintenance that most offices had to do when returning to in-person work, part of their task was to place masks on the Grogu dolls, note cards in the packages, and distribute the dolls to everyone's workspaces. So when everyone returned to the office, they had this little guy waiting for them, courtesy of Innan and Mattel. So that's the story of this exclusive doll variant. Since what makes them special could easily be faked, I put a watermark on my images and I'm not revealing the exact dimensions of the note card. Have you heard of any fun returning to office gifts from companies, even if they weren't toy companies? Did your company do something for you when you returned to work after the pandemic quarantine? Let me know in the comments below. 
And if you like true stories relating to toys and action figures, check out my YouTube shorts where I have a series called Toy Tales that you might enjoy. I'll see you next time. This has been Bert.